14 class line we want to write a class called line and it's going to represent a line segment between points our line should have the following methods inside of here so we're going to need to code for this I already have public class line here so I already just wrote that out public class line and we are going to put all these methods inside of here so the first thing that we're gonna do is our first method which is a constructor that's our first method but notice in our constructor we have these parameters so we are assuming that we have these fields that we want to edit now these fields as most fields should be are gonna be private they're gonna be objects of type points so we have private p1 and we have a private point p2 so those are our fields next let's do our method so we'll have a public line where we have our point p1 and point p2 inside of here we're going to set this dot p1 to our p1 and our this dot p2 equal to our p2 so that's going to set our fields next we need our accessor method so these are our gets public points and then we'll have gets p1 and what should this do simply return our point p1 that's pretty much it so we will end that method let's copy this bring it right here this is going to be gets p2 so we want to return p2 so these are our two different points that we're going to returning um, we also want to slash to string method so public string to string is just going to well i try to copy it but i guess that's not going to work simply going to return what we have right here so let's do this we're not gonna have to do any special kind of formatting or anything we're just going to have to manipulate um, a specific string and appending to it to get our return to be correct so we have return we want to have a bracket and then a parenthesis like this we can have a another parenthesis to end this we're gonna want to append to this our first uh, p1 so we're gonna have p1 dot x then we're gonna want to append to this a comma and then a space append to this p1 dot y um, and then we're gonna append to this a we're just following what we have right here a parenthesis a comma and then a space and then we're gonna append to this actually we should be appending space and then a parenthesis right here right because we're just basically making all this right here we're going to append to this our p2.x and then we are going to have a comma space and append to this our p2.y so we're essentially just inputting all of the different data that we have parenthesis this and end this and then we can end this line pretty long but that's what you got to do so that's our two string method in a nutshell um, we also have an error right here so private point p1 and I guess it does not like me having oh um, I believe let's try to do p2 as well I don't think that's gonna let us do that so actually let's separate these so we'll have private point p2 let's try submitting it again with both of them separate like that that's probably better practice too that passes three out of three tests and that's going to be the answer for exercise 8.14 which is class line